Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. How do you find your Philippines partner? Uh, I'm not saying like you've lost her in a shopping mall. I mean, literally, how do you find uh, the ideal person? Um, mine was so random. It was well, let's put this way: I wasn't looking for a partner. That's how random it was. But we. The online dating scene gets a lot of hammer on the internet, uh, and generally, people say it doesn't work, doesn't work. Yet, so many people actually met their partners online. Um, now, the first thing I want to say that there's a bit of a stigma, because people don't like to say, oh, I did some online dating. Um, so generally, they don't talk about how they met. Next one is, all the scammers um, are online. They don't work too well in real life because they get found out quite quickly normally so those are two reasons why the internet is um a problem sometimes but i will also say once you get into the habit of looking for people because the reason i say habit is you will find genuine people and you'll find fake people you will find you ream through fake people very fast and i'll tell you now delete block like that don't waste your time with them as soon as you picked one up get rid of them um you will get the the ones that will just go oh uh, age sex blah blah the first thing is that the people that go age sex blah 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 they are going through this as a business uh, either that or they're doing random uh, relations because why would you need that information why would you be so um specific when you haven't even met the person yet so you get into that don't even engage with them delete block because a genuine person doesn't ask those questions um the scammers will ask for money normally it'll be the first 30 minutes as soon as you get that oh my child's sick oh my dog's sick my house blew down whatever the sub story is because there's always one delete block um true filipinos genuine filipinos firstly will not want money because to ask for money goes against their morals and principles the first thing you want in a person is principles and morals otherwise you're on a downward spiral from there filipinos won't ask for money because it's not your problem it's their problem and it would be embarrassing to ask you for money that's why they don't ask because it is nothing to do with you they don't know you scammers will ask as quick as possible next thing is um what you want to do is engage with people on a regular basis find out when they're online what they're doing you know maybe they work in the mall maybe they're um looking after the dog whatever um and try and get a routine of spending time together. Don't go straight for, I love you, I love you. Because um, all that is doing is, A, you've committed yourself to something that you have, have all the information on. Secondly, you might scare them off because they might think you're a bit weird. Um, but the most important bit is you're putting yourself at risk. Because if you've gone like that and just gone ba 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 before you know it you'd be marrying a guy <laughs> um i do say that laughing but it has happened more than once uh to people out there just take your time there is no rush you've waited years to meet this person so take your time so online dating does work just take your time it will take a bit of investment you will find you're wasting days months or even sometimes just f frittering through people but then you'll find the one person that you may not have an immediate connection with or maybe you have but you're saying well i'm still i'm looking for people and you and you're getting on with them but maybe you haven't committed to them in such a way but they may actually be the right person simply because they're sitting in the background waiting for you uh they'll talk to you every day etc etc you create a bond of friendship and that's that's where a lot of this starts because you gotta remember people do not love each other instantly um love is something that's built on time 
Um, I know people say, oh, I knew the moment I met them, that's the person. Based on what they thought at the time, if they found out they were a scammer or they were a guy, I'm sure things would have changed. <laughs> so <laughs> just be realistic here. Um, and just maybe meet a few people or if you're 100% with the person, then meet them. Don't commit to anything though, just go and meet them. Um, the other side of this being, if you're in country and thought internet dating isn't for me, uh, there is people everywhere. Filipinos don't mind you come up and talking to them. Please don't be one of the guys that hang around the malls though. It's, it makes it awkward. I don't go shopping in the malls because I see them lurching. It really like gets under my skin. Because <laughs> um, you'll go up to Ayala Mall sometimes and it's like I don't know, 100 guys harassing every woman in sight as if it's a uh, pack of lions looking for um, a load of gazelles. It's it's not very classy, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you're serious about it, invest a bit of time. The women on those malls, for example, there's a lot of girls that work for a living, if you get my meaning, because that many guys um, influence business. As such, they go there and look for the guys. So, is it somewhere where I'd pick somebody up? The answer would be no, no way. Um, people I'm interested in, well, sorry, I'm, I'm married. <laughs> but people I would be looking for if I was single would actually be working somewhere. Um, the reason I look for people that work, because it's got work, the person's got work ethics, they've only got family commitments and responsibilities. So they understand the value of family and they're um, family orientated. You know, they're, they're generally a good rounded person. But also, they're not rushing off to meet the first guy they meet. They're, they may have already met some local guys that have run away or whatever, you know, because a lot of guys can be quite... There is a lot of good guys, but there's a lot of bad as well. Um, it's not hard to find women that are looking for a Westerner purely because their experience is locally. So, I would say look for women that are actually working um, not actually wandering around the malls looking for a foreigner. Um, it's a bit bizarre. I, I mean, I, I I do avoid going to Ayala for that reason. The uh, it's become a pickup point. Uh, not where I want to be hanging out. That's for sure. Um, the other thing is using the expat network, using Filipinos. Um, because they already know people. Uh, for example, uh, a few of our friends are actually married to people that met me. Um, they read my blog. Um, this channel didn't exist back then, but they asked for advice about going to the Philippines and several are married to people we know. Um, because they they weren't sure about the people they were going to meet. They'd read some of the stories online, etc. Some of the bad stuff. Um, so I just asked asked a few people around and put them in touch with people I thought that um, they could get on with, and they've all got married. <laughs> um, no, no divorces though. Um, I don't offer a matchmaking service, by the way. It's just the. Uh, some of my friends in the Philippines always go, Mac, find me a husband, find me a husband. And I'm like, what What do you mean find you a husband? I don't keep in my back pocket. Find me a husband. Well, what do, what type of husband are you on? Ah, oh, like you, like you. And you're like, I, I, don't, I don't know. You know, so I can be quite fussy as well because I know these uh, women. But, um, I check the guys out more than the women because I already know the women. I know their histories. I know their family life, etc. And the very good women, which is why everyone's happily married, because the guys were 100% and the women were 100%. No skeletons in the closet and 100% committed to the marriage from both sides. Um, which proves that the expat network can work. Uh, when I said Filipino network, what you'll find is you'll meet people all the time. Um, 
even if you're stopping at a hotel or something, if somebody knows you're looking for a person to meet, the next thing is you've got their cousins, their nieces or whatever, um, coming to meet you and be introduced and then just take your time to meet people. Um, happiness is something that everything should be inspired to. Um, so getting it right is so important. If you're committing to marriage, committing to a relationship, that is very important that everyone's going to be happy. So it takes time. Now, I know a friend of mine that actually met somebody online, got in a taxi at the airport where she picked him up and he proposed before the taxi had left the airport. They're still married, but the, the point being is he literally stepped off the plane. You, you need to take a bit more time than that because stuff online is only whatever percent you know let's be honest nobody knows what the percentage of truth is online because the figure would be a lie but just take your time um utilize the expat network some ways but be aware there's a lot of idiots out there in the expat community as such use expats that are recommended by others um what i mean is if you go in a forum and there's like 20 guys on there um and you're chatting to one and ask another one uh probably what do you think of this guy he says, oh he's a nice guy blah 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 um then you know you're on the right path but if you find out he's a drunk whatever guy womanizer he's going to create a nightmare for you because he's creating a nightmare for himself half the time so those are the main people you want to look for but like i said just take it i keep saying it, take your time but look for somebody with morals look for somebody that's already working look for somebody that's got responsibilities somebody that is well-rounded as a person um because it's important that they have ethics and morals as a person um because it's something you can develop with them. Um, because if you go overseas, because a lot of guys would say, oh, I'm not taking my wife abroad because they're worried about her running away with another guy or suing them for the house or everything. But if the person has the right morals, right principles, etc., they're committed to the, the marriage, all that Western nonsense that people get wrapped up on comes secondary. Because uh, a lot of pollution what, um, that plagues people's minds, it comes from other Filipinos. Filipino women abroad can be a bit like this. And the main reason I know it is not because I am judgmental, but it's from what other Filipino women have told me. Because um, basically, there's this bit of crap mentality and competition between women which sometimes they like to interfere in other people's marriages you know they'll start with the oh you can get this out of your husband and uh, do you know you're entitled to half of everything they have and all this sort of stuff see the thing is i tell my wife she can have whatever she wants you know a bit i don't work that way anyway you know i'm committed to the ma the wedding the, the marriage and everything else i don't care about money or anything like that it's not important um, happiness is and the only way you get a real happy marriage is everybody committing to it and making it work anyway thanks for watching